Welcome to Electra Online. Here's another interesting problem from the JE Advanced Test dealing with transmission lines. Now again, there were a lot of words there and I didn't put all of the words on the board. They weren't necessary. That's another thing with the JE Advanced Test is you just want to read what's necessary. Skip down to the question, try to solve it. Maybe go back if you're missing something. But you could waste a lot of time reading it would, it would have covered half the board if it had copied all the text of that particular question. But it says here, a power plant produces electric power of 600 kilowatts at 4,000 volts to be transported to consumers 20 kilometers away. It can be transported directly via cable or by using a step-up and step-down transformers at both ends. All currents and voltages are in RMS values, that's important. The question is, if the direct transmission method with a cable of resistance 0.4 ohms per kilometer is used, the power dissipation in percentage during transmission is. In other words, the power loss. And yes, if you have voltage or have current move across transmission lines, part of it is lost because of the heating up of the cables, the resistance. So there's a certain amount of heat dissipation caused by the resistance of the cables. Because of that, they want to reduce that by raising the voltage. That's why high, the high voltage transmission lines are stepped up to very high voltages to limit the loss on the lines. So here we're supposed to figure out what is the percentage of the total power that's produced that is actually lost because of the heat dissipation, the power dissipation in percent. And notice the answers. Anywhere from 20 to 50 percent is the correct answer. Even at 20%, that's a huge loss, which you don't want to lose. But at least, let's calculate it. Hmm, how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, what we can say is there's two equations for power. We have one equation where power is equal to the current times the voltage, and power is equal to I square R. Now, those are essentially the same. You can show that one is equal to the other by using Ohm's law, which says that I equals V over R. So by substituting appropriately the Ohm's law into either one of these two equations, you can then derive the other equation. So you say, well, there may not be any difference. But in essence, there is a difference. Because this is the equation you use when you say power provided. So power provided, you tend to use this equation power consumed, you tend to use this equation. So when we want to calculate how much power we're actually consuming, we're going to use this equation. But this equation is going to be used first to figure out how much current we have in the wire because we're providing power, 600 kilowatts, at 4,000 volts. So the current I is equal to the power divided by the voltage. So in this case, that is 600,000 watts or 600 kilowatts, so 600,000 watts, divided by voltage of 4,000 volts. And let's see here, that's 4 into that. So that's equal to 150 amps. So by sending 600 kilowatts of power across the transmission lines at 4,000 volts, we need 150 amps of current, which is a huge amount of current. Now to calculate the power consumed, we say, well, the power is equal to the current squared, which is 150 amps squared times the resistance. Now we have to calculate how much resistance there is on the cable, and they tell us that the resistance is 0.4 ohms per kilometer, so R is equal to the resistance per kilometer times the length of the line. So in this case, that is 0 0.4 ohms for one kilometer, and we're going to multiply that times 20 kilometers. That means that over the length of 20 kilometers, the cables have a resistance of 8 ohms. Now you say, well, 8 ohms, that's not very much. Why are you worried? Well, the problem is the current is very high, and you have to square it, so that makes that a very big number, times 8. Hmm. No calculators. You don't, you're not allowed calculators on the JEE -E uh, yeah, the JEE advanced test. So power is equal to, what's 15 squared? Well, that's uh, 10 times that is 15. That's 2, that's 225. So that's 22,500 amps squared 
multiply it times 8 ohms. So 8 times this, that's a 160, 176, that's 180. So power equals 180,000 watts. So that's power consumed when you provide a power of 600 kilowatts. So what is the percentage loss? Percent loss is equal to the power, uh, that's equal to the power consumed divided by the power provided. So in this case, consumed 180,000 watts, power provided 600,000 watts, 18 over 60, that is 30%, and up here, answer B has the correct number. So believe it or not, if you were to send 600,000 watts of power, that's 600,000 joules per second of power, across these transmission lines, 20 kilometers, 8 ohm lines, 150 amps of current required to do so, you will lose 30% of your power. Not a good thing that you lose that much power, so there's got to be a way to change that, to improve upon that. And yes, there is, by using step-up and step-down transformers to increase the voltage, which requires therefore less current, and you have a smaller current square, so therefore less power loss. So I believe on the next problem, they're going to ask us to do it again, but using a step-up, step-down transformer to see what the power loss will be then. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that.